virtual placements are the result of this lockdown that we are facing, this pandemic that is raging all around us. No one is ready to move out of their homes, neither the candidates nor the employers. The recruiters don't want to take the flight because many places are shut down. Transportation is hurt. No one can be trusted to be with or without the virus. So no one is taking the chances. As it is, the industry demand has dipped. GDP is going to be in negatives for the last two quarters. So obviously for the foreseeable future, Companies are not in a mood to hire immediately. Okay, mind my words, companies are not in a mood to hire immediately. However, if they have a forecast, if they know how the industry is going to rebound after the pandemic has subsided, they will have requirements. So among you, those who are in the final year right now, who have came from the who have come from the third year to the final year who came here uh, these people who are graduating in the year 2021 they, they may be mba they may be uh, b tech they might be m tech all those people who will get the degrees in the month of june july august 2021 for you the right time of placement hunt begins in the month of May, June, July, August 2021. Right now, it would be foolhardy to ask a company to hire you to be placed, to be offered, to be called for joining in the year of 2021. They are not sure whether they need you in the year 2021 or not. That picture will be clear in March 2021. That is one one quarter ends and they start planning for the next quarter and the one after that. Budgetary allocations will be given then. Industry forecast will be done. Rating agencies will tell them what is going on. So I'm talking about big companies who have uh, who depend on such a systematic um, system uh, such a systematic recruitment process well in advance. Okay. So let me give you some good news and let me give you some not so good news. Good news. A uh, few days ago, uh, one of my uh, past students who is working with a multinational corporation, it's a consultancy. So he asked me, how are the placement preparations in your college? I said, why are you asking? He said, my company has made me the campus ambassador for uh, the upcoming placement season. I said, oh, you are hiring. I said, of course we are hiring. We know we need uh, people once this thing blows over and companies will start to uh, get back to us with their requirements, whether they want to open up to a particular situation or not. So, of course, there are going to be people. Uh, of course, there are going to be recruitments. Are you ready? I said, yes, we are ready. We have been preparing our kids for the last one year. And over the last summer, we have given them considerable practice with everything. Having said that, I also remember the kind of doubts, the fear, the kind of hesitation, the kind of uh, some sort of a, I mean, invisible lack of confidence that is always lurking behind those GDs that you participate in, those PIs that you do. So it's always there. And uh, I always uh, think of trying to ameliorate them, trying to remove them in a staged manner, okay, in a phased manner. Staged manner would be bad, right? For pa, for example. All right, let's let's go on from here and see what people are asking. And most of the questions are about what is the outlook for some of the core sectors. Well, so I have got messages on Facebook, on uh, on my WhatsApp, and now also people are asking here in YouTube Live. So nice about all this, but I have not forgotten the awful, awful news that I have to give you. A few minutes before I started this live video, I was talking to one of my students from 2017 batch. Uh, that person is in the automobile sector, having uh, graduated from mechanical. And uh, that person gave me some tips, some insider information about the automobile sector going all blank. That was not the worst news. That was expected because last year we had seen how the automobile sales have been going down, cars and vehicles. Of course, the, the commercial vehicles, the trucks, for example, they have been going down, etc., etc. So that was one part. But what he said was more important than just placement. He said placement is not even the tip of the iceberg of what things we need to repair once we join the industry. 
And I said, what do you have to face while joining the industry? And then he goes on. It's the survival in the post that you have got. It's about the amount of pressure, the domain, the expertise, the manager that you get, the kind of projects that you will have. All these things matter a lot for the first two to three years. After that, it is the switch about how to move from one company to another, one vertical to another, one job to another, one geography to another. The switch is very tormenting. That kind of interview that promotes you, that moves you from one place to the other, those interviews are very grilling in nature. The interviews don't let you off so easily because you are going to get a hike. You are going to get a promotion. Entry-wise, that is not such a big issue. They will come in for a low LPA, for a low package, and you will leave. They have no problems with that. The problem begins once you start moving vertically inside the company. Everyone in the IT sector knows how difficult it is to become a project lead, the team leader. Okay, If it is an established multinational corporation, it will take a hell lot of time to go up the ladder. Even if you show a lot of promise and opportunity. right? But once it comes to the bigger sector, uh, the one that is not so organized, that are smaller teams, lower recruitment rates, etc. They will grill you uh, for anything because, well, rise is very meteoric. You can rise very fast. One day you are an intern, the other day you are in, in, and the third day you might be leading a project. You might be minding the team. Small companies. I know people who were campus ambassadors of ambassadors for a certain company. The moment they got over, they joined that company. Within six months, they were the territorial manager. From being BTEC students, they became territorial managers for those companies because they showed promise, because they had the potential, because there was a lot of patience in them in the way they treated the projects that they got that kind of an increase. All right. So that is about placements in general. Today, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about virtual placements. And as I already said, that Corona has made the virtual, the placement process go virtual, right? It is like a you have to send your resumes virtually. You might have to record your video resumes. You will have to sit for online GDs. You will have to appear for virtual place uh, interviews. Everything is online. Everything is going to be online. You will join online. Your onboarding will be online. Your training will be online. The test that you need to give to become a regular a permanent um, employee will be online. And of course, you will be working from home, WFH, right? So how is this process uh, need? Why does it need my intervention in that? Well, I can tell you one thing. Uh, because we here at a very central location, at a bird's eye view, we have an advantage. We are looking at multiple sectors, IT, consultancy, core, uh, entrepreneurship, higher studies, etc. So we have got a bird's eye view of what the students are thinking, how they are going, their temperaments, their tensions. And from this vantage point, the view that we have, if told to you, if you get to know about it, you will reorient yourself. You will change your priorities. You will realign your uh, skills and talents. You will totally rewire yourself to suit the industry. OK, now the next question is not like uh, what job I want to do. OK, it is like, uh, OK, I have option A, B, C. Today there was a discussion going on. Should I prepare for placements or should I prepare for gate? Some BTEC students were asking. MBA students are worried like, do I go this uh, vertical or that vertical? Everyone is worried like, where should I go? No one is looking inside. Everyone is looking outside here, there or there. If they can just look inside and ask them, what do I need to do with what I have? That would be a really beautiful thing to do. I mean, I, yesterday I was reading an article about how a very famous biryani joint uh, in Pondicherry, which used to sell the products for ru rupees 225 per packet plus GST. One packet of biryani was 225 rupees plus GST. And uh, they had saved up money so that they could pay their employees for two months in the pandemic. OK, the lockdown period. But when that money ran out, they thought, what do I do? Do I let go of my 17 employees, etc.? And then maybe shut down. Then the person got an idea. Let me cook. Let me slash the prices. Let me go on the street and ask my uh, employees to start selling it. Right. And he sold it for 70 rupees a packet. It got over like 
uh, 80 packets got over within half an hour he had to recook so uh, businesses are getting reinvented okay uh, entire today's news zomato and swiggy have restructured the salaries that they had been cutting down for the last 2 to 3 months which means they are back in the business the game is taking off right so maybe i mean who knows about which time time of the year which part of the month etc the industry is going to rebound but in any case you should be ready with your skills this is the underline what are your skills have you already prepared your skill set have you had a inner view of your profile do you know what you're strong in do you want to know what your interests lie do you want to figure out which sector you are made for if yes then start hunting for job it's pointless to go looking for companies like will you hire me will you hire me and when they ask you what can you do for us and you are like well i can do a b c d i am a jack of all trades is this the age of jack of all trades no they want jack of all trades and a master of one are you already a master of one i know masters i know third year masters fourth year masters i got a call just before a few minutes a student called me up said that sir we have completed a research over the last 6 months and we would like to publish we are the final year students but you would like to publish i said well done good job now you know where your interest is because that is where you spent 3 to 4 months researching now forget everything and pitch yourself if you want jobs right now but you won't get because right now you're a student in case you want jobs you would at that point of time highlight that this was this was my research area and this is how i have gone ahead with it and would you like to use my expertise in this area you will get i mean 50% more offers than normal they know that you know yourself and that is what matters okay let's move on let's move on to the various parts of virtual placement what are the various parts of virtual placement the first one of course uh, remains the screening round in which they you apply to them now there are two process of application one the college goes on your behalf that is called the corporate relation part of uh, our uh, system in which we approach the companies and say we got kids with us we got candidates they have skills a b c d would you like to come and have a look so they would come that way and they'll ask okay send us their scores that they might have got in a particular testing platform amcat cocubes metal merit track multiple testing platforms so we send them the scores sometimes they say hey keep your scores with us we will do an online test let them sit for it and then let's see what they can do this is channel number 2 channel number 3 well if you have a set of video resumes of your students can you can we have access to that so that we know what kind of people we are dealing with so the college might give them the repository of video resumes saying that okay these are the video resumes of our students have a look so these are the multiple ways that uh, our students get exposed to the corporate sector right now video resumes features in this stage at this level we are talking video resumes video resumes there are no questions but i would like to tell you about video resumes is this is a combination of three things number one your content what you are delivering what you are what are you selling number 2 confidence okay confidence in the way you present yourself is your face uh, i mean some kind of a leaking out fear anxiety nervousness or are you giving up a strong picture i am a, it's a picture it doesn't you don't have to be strong you have to look strong appear strong convey that you are strong you don't have to be strong not every one of us are strong that does that mean that we are not going to get jobs we have to get jobs and for that we if necessary we are going to put up a strong face all right third thing is communication content confidence communication the communication part is a little bit tricky because that gets built over a long period of time the language the fluency everything takes a long time to stabilize so we don't know whether we are going to have that kind of uh, communication or not but we can't there is nothing we can do right now i mean a lot of time has passed and those who are looking for immediate internships they don't have time but i'm not looking for short term gain guys i'm aiming for the people who are aiming for 2021 jobs so you people who have 2021 in your binocular sights you have a lot of time to improve your communication i was sitting through an online gd i had 2 hours of online G, sorry 2 plus 2 4 hours of online gd evaluation today 
All right. So I had a look at BTEC students, MBA students, and I got to know that throughout the summer, they haven't spoken any bit of English. The language is dead. They are having to scramble their thoughts, gather their words, push in their ideas, string a sentence together, and in the chaos, enter and try to give that kind of a sentence. The result is pathetic. There is a lot of MTI, fillers, hesitation, breaks. And of course, within seconds, the other people are coming in and taking away the chance to speak. What do you do? Well, as I said, you have nine months, but don't take it as nine months. Take it as one month at a time. Each month, evaluate yourself. Have you, has your game improved? Have your skills improved? And so on and so forth. Having said that, um, not all of you are bad. Some of you have maintained your language. Of course, you have been reading, you have been speaking, you have been maintaining excellent uh, uh, health of your language. Good job. Well done. You also need to do a lot of reading. A reading analysis is very important. You'll have to uh, keep reading things that, uh, uh, that have words that can help you while talking. Now, if that does not happen, then you will be using your existing vocabulary. If, which, if not, which, if, which is not good, then um, like right now I'm struggling for vocabulary and uh, this is uh, getting boring for you and uh, you might log off. will have the similar effect on your recruiter. So if you are lost for words, which is forgivable at certain point of time, but a habit is not. So you will have to pick up in a habit. Uh, you have to get rid of the habit of searching for words all the time. Yep. Now, I, I, as I said, video resumes. Now, video resumes, I told you three things. But another aspect, the digital aspect is very important. Like, how do you come across? Now, can you see what, you, uh, what I look like on the screen? I have, a, I have a, a single color background. I have a bookcase behind me. I have a TV and a, a, a flower vase. And there is a clock behind me. Can I send whatever I record right now to a recruiter? Well, the answer is yes, because there is nothing objectionable behind. Okay. I could have removed the TV, but well, I have a TV, so I have to have it here. There are certain switchboards and a camera behind me. So I have masked it using my head. Okay. That means I can't do too much of head movements. In case you want to make a video resume with a lot of movements, then in, in fact, uh, you should have a totally blank background or hang a curtain for uh, that purpose. If there is a big curtain, there is nothing to, I mean, uh, to be worried about and you can move around a little bit. I mean, not too much of movement. Let me give you a demo of video resume. Let's say I'm applying for a kind of a company which is looking for professors in English. Okay, so I, I sit here. There are many students who do uh, standing video resumes. I have nothing against that. But I feel comfortable when I'm sitting because I don't have to worry about a lot of lower body movements. I'll sit here and give you a video resume. First thing first, a very positive smiling attitude. So put on a smile. Number two, you remember what you are targeting. There is a post that is being targeted. The post requires something and hence that has to be attacked. And number three, you have to keep it very brisk and crisp at the same time. Okay. And I'll also keep Abhishek's uh, requirement of an ending line for a video resume. <clears throat> So I have taken care of the lighting on my face. My face is well lit. There aren't any dark circles. Maybe I'll try and put a little bit of extra light. So now there is a little bit of extra light on my face. Now there is no part that is dark on my face. I'm well lit up. I'm actually, in fact, too much lit up. So it should not be there. Okay. I take care of my dress. It is according to my principles. I have my dress fine. It's ironed. It is crisp. There is a good contrast, etc. I think it's a bit too much. So I said so the lighting is a bit too much. But anyway, I'll keep it like that because I don't know what screen someone is going to watch it on and how it is going to come across. So here's my video resume for approximately 60 seconds. I'll try to keep it at 60 seconds. I have the time to edit it, but this is for the demo purpose. <clears throat> Good morning. I am Kash Khan from Bhubaneswar. I have three skills that I want to offer you in response to your advertisement where academic coordinator, as well as a career counselor. I have 14 years of experience in the industry of career counseling with diverse experiences in the areas of management, technology, rural management, law, and biotech. I have also advised students at school level, and uh, it's also there for open career counseling as to 
whoever can come and take advantage of that. The second skill that I'm going to offer you is creativity. Creativity is my super strength because using it, I make my classes interesting. I make my counseling effective and I can develop materials that can be used for a variety of audience. The third thing that I'm going to offer you is my control over the language. I can spot mistakes. I can rectify them. I can improve language and I can definitely make a dull uh, piece of communication look very attractive and energetic. So with these three things on offer, my creativity, my experience, and my knack for language accuracy, I offer myself for your academic career, academic coordinator position. Looking forward to listen to you for further interaction in an interview. Thank you. It was unscripted. I didn't have anything uh, prepared. So I just made it up and just I thought of something like that and come up. So if you get time to modify your content and if you can talk a little bit more about other stuff, that would be wonderful. OK, I think I have done a little bit of um, um, mismanagement with uh, the content. Some, the first paragraph was a little bit repetitive, but otherwise it was fine. Yeah. So let's go. Uh, Abhishek, the ending lines are, uh, in fact, an invitation for the person to contact in case they want to have a, another round of interview. OK, there are multiple lines, but uh, well, this is what strikes me right now. OK, then I have a question about uh, GDs. Let's move on to GDs. I don't want this session to go on forever. Now, the online GDs are chaos. It's total chaos. And there are Zoom uh, issues. Whenever someone is speaking, their box doesn't light up. Someone else's box lights up. So what do I use when I see a particular online GD to choose, to decide which among these people should I be taking for the next round? I'm not hiring from the GD round. No, 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 no. GD is not hiring. GD is elimination where a lot of people have gathered and I want to bring down the numbers for my interview. That's it. So I don't have much issues. I just have to see who I love to have a talk with. Some person who is not too critical, someone who is uh, pleasant. And of course, they need to know the domain that they are going to enter. So in an online GD, you have to go in with lots of uh, goodwill, uh, let's say confidence, let's say a kind of a positive attitude, like I'm going to rock it. Shahid has asked, how do you rock the GD performance? Well, you go in with a rocking attitude, you go in with an intention to rock the GD. And how do you actually rock a GD? Is it like a lot of discussion that is rocking the GD? Is it like dominating the discussion? Is it like providing a magic solution to the problem that in the topic? No, 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 no. GD rocking depends on how you have performed as a team member okay and there is aspect number two which i will call factor x x factor now what is x factor x factor is a variable it changes from domain to domain profile to profile company to company manager to manager since you will know beforehand what is going to be the company the domain domain company profile manager since you know all these four things you will be able to Rewire your presentation. See, you have multiple personalities. Don't disagree with that. You have a personality that you display at home. One is for the friends. Another is for the strangers. And there is a fourth one, you know, for whom. But, well, we'll not go into those details right now. So in a group discussion that has gone chaotic, that is what happened today in the evening. I saw people trying to make it more chaotic. I suggested to them, someone among you should play the leader and bring down the volume in this area. And they did not. They felt like, uh, like I have to give content. I, said, I have enough content. What I want right now is the management of the content providers. They don't seem to come to a conclusion. I don't want such kind of scenes in my office. I want pleasant people who have logic, but they can. They will not go into this ruffian mode like this. So I need very relaxed people. If you can manage this chaos, kindly do that. And that was a tough thing to do. All right, let's go into another area of question. So I don't have any questions on my Facebook. I'll continue with whatever is here. Uh, there are places where certain students do not speak at all. So, sir, I don't have any content, sir. So tonight I'm going to give you a magic weapon to use whenever you run out of content in a GD. Are you ready? If you are ready, show me some love in the chat box. Give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up. I... I survive on motivation. So you give me motivation. I give you content. 
nah you don't not interested in giving motivation no problem i am a internal motivation generator i generate positivity for myself all right so <laughs> thank you people thank you thank thank you a lot thanks a lot so here it is if there is no content in your head for the topic that is going remember you are a, a educated person you have listening capability not hearing capabilities listening what is the difference between hearing and listening hearing you just hear listeners process what they hear and draw content out of it yes you draw content out of what you listen listen to 3 minutes of the first two speakers of a gd once you get that that content from them process it remember everyone speaking there is not a champ some of them will not have the right language some of them will be missing the facts and figures some of them will be missing the logic take the rest of it add what is missing and speak it again yes you are repeating it but it is your contribution you spoke you displayed language you showed gestures you felt made your presence felt yeah so that will be accounted for someone will be noting those things let's say you don't have facts you don't have logic you have nothing you have ears and a brain you heard what someone said repeat it point blank as it is word for word do it don't be ashamed of it this is not stealing sometimes you had a point let's say the point was the number of states in india 28 states someone stood and said there are 28 states in india now what do you oh my god he said there are 28 states in india i am lost i don't have now new content does that change that india has 28 states change the position of the sentence active to passive voice india had 29 states but now there are 28 states you said the same thing okay but the approach was different all right same thing exactly the same thing approach was different position of the words were different but you spoke up and when you spoke up you got noticed and this noticing is what matters hmm? if you are noticed maybe something else will work your optics will work how you look on screen will work the voice will work the the pressure that you apply in your approach will work something will click and if it does not click in gd number 1 it will in gd number 2 in gd number 3 there is no end to the number of gds that you will be allowed to sit for if they it is happening if you are eligible you are through you are going to get it all right content wise say everything has been spoken three or four people have already spoken on the point there is nothing to left ah oh, there is there are two things left yesterday a guy from uh, it called me and he said that sir i am lost i am lost i don't know what to say i have the content but someone speaks and then i don't know what to do i gave him two points i'm giving it to you now for attending this night session I, it's night for me but it's like right the right time for you this is when you wake up right all right so here are the two things number one interrogation number two appreciation all right so when you have run out of content all the contents have been exhausted you can ask questions someone asked sir can we ask questions in gd okay breaking news there is no gd website there is no gd manual there is no constitution of the gd there are no written rules of the gd no one comes with a manual of gd and checks okay you made this mistake according to this manual you are rejected no one does that it does not happen gds are of many formats i'm not telling that tonight but i'm going to tell you what these two things that you can do interrogation you can ask people you can't ask people like what do you know about reservation no 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 not like that you can ask like this can you please repeat the point that you made about reservations and look what is your contribution to the gd by asking this question i don't know i had nothing to speak so i had asked a question as it is i was getting rejected for staying silent but now i can talk yeah so number 2 i have a chance now number 2 you can ask like, like when you said reservation is only for the economically weaker section can you define that word economically weaker section i knew nothing about this topic but you gave me a sentence i processed it i made a question out of it and i threw back at you this is a virtual gd online gd there is nothing to lose you are asking online okay just ask it you interrogate asking you ask the person to restate you ask the person to explain define short questions and that person would be happy yeah yeah i'll do that that gives me more opportunity to talk uska fayda tumhara fayda go for it 
सेकेंड थिंग अप्रीशियेशन ये जरा मुश्किल है तुम लोगों के लिए किसी की तारीफ करना ये तो बनता नहीं तारीफ की शायरी लिखते हो तारीफ के मैसेजेस भेजते हो स्पेशल पीपल के लिए नाउ यू हैव टू डू इट फॉर द जनरल पीपल जनता के लिए तुमको करना पड़ेगा डू इट यू आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड योर करियर ऑन झूठी तारीफ टेक इट फ्रॉम मी Yeah, Rita Prava, you can do that. You can divert the topic to something you know because there is not the, that. This is Plan A. There is no Plan B for you. If you don't know anything about topic, uh, the focus of the topic in a particular area, you can take it to other other places. Yesterday, I was discussing a topic. I gave a topic for GD: one country, one culture. And people were sticking to only one area: religion, religion, religion. Then one person came and said, "Hey, why don't we talk language? Language is also uh, culture." And then the whole Uh, discussion took a different direction it was not prohibited so you can take it and talk it as you want good job diverted all right appreciation appreciation is very tough for people who don't do it like me i can't appreciate i am a critical appraisal person i have to give you feedback i ask people do you want sugar coated one then i'll have to switch on my sugar coating device and then my words will come out as non lethal rubber coated bullets otherwise i give plain ak47 magazine material right so yeah i have a uh, appreciation in gds these are the words you can say that absolutely wonderful point my friend uh, you have uh, you have rightly pointed out the right reasons behind this kind of a phenomena maza aa jayega un log ka main main acha hu and next time if someone is cutting you this person will come to your defense let him complete let him complete kya maza aata hai gd mein dekhne like rehta hai ekdam se i love gd classes the reason why i love that is i get to know how people behave under pressure pressure aane lagta hai to bande ka asli chemicals ooze karne lag jata hai it's like a sponge that has been pressed uske andar mobil hai tel hai nikal aayega ghas hai sorry ye kya bolte hain usko soap hai wo nikal aayega jo bhi hoga andar se nikal aayega so i that is one place another thing that i'm going to do in the month of august and september is uh, stress pis i'm going to take one on one stress pis mere paas mein bahut stress hai i want to transfer that to you and check how you behave under that at the end of the gd i'll tell you yeah, there is nothing to worry about it but i'll do it august mein ye pakka promise appreciation you appreciate for two reasons one to get started in the gd see gd kya hai na ki tum log muh sukha ke baithe सिर्फ मुंह नहीं जबान भी सूखी हुई बैठी गला सूखा हुआ है ओके सो यू जस्ट कॉन्ट स्टार्ट लाइक आई थिंक दैट बैनिंग चाइनीज प्रोडक्ट इज नॉट गोइंग उतना इफेक्टिव नहीं है जरा से वार्म अप करो फिर जॉगिंग करो उसके बाद प्रिंट करो वट आई वॉन्ट टू सेज दैट स्टार्ट विथ लिटिल ऑफ अप्रिशिएशन एब्सोलूटली वंडरफुल पॉइंट माई फ्रेंड इतना बोले उसके बाद नेक्स्ट लेवल पे जाकर के बोलो आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट द पॉइंट दैट हैव नॉट बीन हाईलाइटेड सो फार और तीसरे पॉइंट में ले दनादन दे दनादन दिस इज वॉट यू कैन डू okay appreciation for another reason that is some people are dominators they don't let other people speak what do you do in that case you just appreciate them so much that they are stuck like what what happened and at that point you start your tirade you don't stop for 30 to 40 seconds flat remember that no matter who is interrupting na 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 40 seconds no stopping no matter who says what unless the moderator is saying something you will go on and on promise me you will do that that if you have started in your valid point there was silence or there was a dominator in these two circumstances you can start without permission there is no need for permissions as such people waste their gds they destroy their gd chances by hello may i speak hello friends ha huh? can can i can i say something kya tumko invitation dena hai kya yahan pe do you need a gold plated invitation card or please speak something no one is going to give you that fight for your right snatch if it is not given to you right okay so guys uh, this is about gds and you have to snatch it away from the dominator by praising and once you have started do not stop for 30 to 40 seconds there will be people screaming screaming from your bajoo wala window on the screen of the moderator but you look into the camera blankly into the camera and keep talking the another reason for the economic blockade of applications and imports from china is the necessity to improve our self blah 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 that the reason another reason for this is that if we don't push our own manufacture blah 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 chal tum bolte jao bolte jao kya hoga dekha jayega someone will, excuse me excuse me excuse oh 30 second ke baad kisi ke excuse ko tum kaatoge tab tak ka tum tum hi tum ho okay तुम्हारी कोई इज्जत नहीं करता तुम सब ओके यू टॉक यू मे ये यू मे टॉक वाला काम ना तीसरे चौथे बार जब बोलते हुए कोई काटेगा तब करना द फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर स्पीकिंग यू विल नॉट स्टॉप फॉर थर्टी टू फोर्टी सेकेंड प्रोमिस मी दैट ओके 
done now let us move on <laughs> okay 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 uh, prashil is asking like how to shut someone who is very loud okay here you can say uh, do this thing uh, this needs a little bit of preparation hmm? this is like the thing that you this is the marination you need to do before you start cooking and what is that you have to tie up with one more person two people tag team etc you know that there is going to be another person not we don't know especially who i mean hota hai har group mein ek loud banda hota hi hota hai ya bandi hoti hoti so you two people are going to collaborate with each other and tell that person to give a chance to another speaker you know who the other speaker is your tag team partner okay for example one blah 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 absolutely great point friend absolutely binayak you have said very valid points but can we just listen to my friend here who has been trying to speak for the last 2 minutes yeah please to wall and that person will return the favor in a few uh, seconds later on when this guy is not stopping he is getting that kind of a view like mere ko bolna hi bolna don't overdo it though zyada ho jayega na the person will just mass reject your whole group and you will be struggling for like kya hua humne sab bola tha so you will lose out okay balance between speaking a lot and also helping others okay if you become a total helper this is the, the another aspect i told you to na interrogation and appreciation sometimes you can do this management also tumhare paas kuch nahi hai so what do you do you make people who have nothing who have not got the chance to speak who might speak something and facilitate their speaking hmm ye bhi tum kar sakte ho and these are all good symbols and signs of a leader content delivery of course is the main thing equally important is um, clarification equally important is appreciation motivation and equally uh, important is the need for organization order in the whole thing let us look at other questions <clears throat> well bees we are doing this we keep doing that and we'll do some more as the time passes we still have a lot of time left right let us move on to the last part of the discussion today and that is virtual pis interviews the last pray yesterday i mean people are sending me whatsapp message like sir our virtual pi uh, pehli baar hai ha oh, sir pehli baar nahi 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 pehli baar screen pe aa rahe ho okay nahi sir 14 ke age se instagram kar raha to fir kae ka dar bhai why are you afraid of coming on screen you do that on a daily basis if it is going to be a zoom pi yo you are going to have a virtual background that has the logo of your college the branding has to be perfect and the lighting as i have set up and shown you how i have set up is going to be good and it's going to work i'm going to post a photo on of what i have set up here uh in my uh, on my facebook account after i'm done with this session okay uh let us uh, look at the questions with regards pi oh still have gd questions what do you have nothing to talk about the topic uh, lutful i just explained everything that i knew about how to manage when you don't have content okay you have appreciation interrogation and traffic management to do in the in the uh, in the gd if you could not do reprocessing of the thing that you had previously what is reprocessing reprocessing is listening to the people who know about the topic taking their points either i mean repackage it or resend it forward share okay just retweet whatever they gave you this is what you can do is it legal well there is no book of law on gd you can start by this if they ban it i'll let you know that this is not working virtual pis virtual pis is talking to a representative of another company over the internet how i mean how is it compared to real pis it is lot easier it's very very easy to have a virtual pi reason reason number 1 the build up is not that bad you used to uh, face pis when you are on campus right and uh, you used to be in your hostel and there used to be placement celebrations around you and they like iska ho gaya uska ho gaya and your confidence used to take a hit yeah and then you used to go for that pi with all the fear and apprehensions and a kind of hesitation isme bhi reject ho gaye to kya wo bhi hai ye bhi ye baitha ab to mera nahi hoga iska to hona hi hona hai everything is gone no hostel no rejections no 
surrounding neighbors in that area to put you off you are all alone at home with your people you are at home you are at home you are in your comfort zone you are in the best of your health best of your uh, mental uh, preparation because mom is there friends are there siblings are there well relatives are also there the one group of people who did not disturb you during placements the relatives are now there yeah yeah i i i totally i totally understand your situation let's let's handle this this way the benefits are more than the harms yeah so now the virtual pi has started and you you the whole person is not there in front of you it's just i mean half of him half of him this much part wo wahan baitha hua usse kya darna it's like you are sitting across a window in a in a train tumhare samne mein ek banda baitha you are looking at that person do you fear people sitting with you in a train like you will fear me if i sit with you some people have told me that but do you fear a normal guy with a tie and a t uh, tie and a shirt and uh, looking like a like semi middle age and would you would you be afraid of that person no uncle hai baat karenge uncle ke sath theek hai and jo puchega batayenge simple as that stress pi's binayak i'll talk about stress pi's later on today i'm just <laughs> uh people put statuses mute those statuses i'll show you my whatsapp i have like 80 people statuses muted because I don't want to have a look at what they're cooking tonight and which bridge they went on to took their take their selfie. Nah, hut out. So mute everyone's statuses that ye iska internship ho gaya, uska PPU ho gaya. What is that for me? I just know that I am good at X Y Z. Company A B C will come looking for it. Or let's hey wait another second. Virtual PIs will be a lot more easier if you don't fixate yourself with a particular company. because you are not going to spend your life in the company unless you are sitting for the virtual pi of government of india central job where you will never leave zindagi bhar sarkari naukri then you should fix it like my my department i want to be in the income tax department all my life itna passion hai to theek hai but in the private sector you don't stay in a company for more than 3 years ask the your seniors they will leave after 3 years if you are going to leave after 3 years why are you so worried about it hmm? the stress pi 20% of the stress is from the side of the interviewer 80% you have generated for yourself congratulations don't do that i mean it is natural people say ha stress is natural hota hai hota hai etc but it can also be managed by telling yourself this is not the final time i am sitting for this company this is not the final company i am sitting for so there are possibilities beyond what should you fixate on kiske upar tumhara focus hona chahiye sector domain is area mein mere ko kaam karna hai suddenly some people started like my area is business marketing dude for the last 3 years you have studied engineering how can you expect to be a stalwart in the field of business marketing okay you got some training but still that does not make you focus all your just look at your seniors the graph that they have charted the domains that they have jumped across the way that they have uh, you know just played kho kho with their career aaj yahan kal wahan aaj yahan kal wahan they're exploring themselves the world is evolving the the market is exploding for the people who have the skills a person came to me in 2019 18 after getting rejected by a multinational corporation sat right across me and started crying said no sir i never thought about this i said promise me that you will not do a knee jerk reaction and take a offer from a company below your sector requirement that person promised but then he joined one company and he sat for the interview and cleared it then i pushed him pushed pushed and pushed until he left that job and got into his area and he you will know which person that is when i tell that area drones now he is with a drone company and he is loving his like anything salary not as much as expected growth not as much as expected but the area of work drones that is the most important all right let's move on let's move on and see what else i have to give you in terms of virtual pis well virtual pi is uh, the preparation is more important than the delivery you need to have with um i mean pads like this with papers full of preparation of about yourself you know yourself the best all the 
the possible uh, pluses and minuses that you possess. Ignore the minuses, just work on the pluses. But this is general PI. In a virtual PI, two things matter. I told you about virtual GDs and there are three things, uh, video resumes, there are three things matter. Content, confidence and communication. In GDs also, these three things matter. But in virtual PIs, I just want two things. Screen presence. How you come across on the screen, your appearance, your lighting, etc., etc. One. And number two, your confidence. No, I'm not looking at communication right now. Communication ka wala stage tum log video resume mein cross kar chuke ho. Tum log GD mein cross kar chuke. Right now, the interviewer wants to know how much you know. And for that, content. Okay. Appearance, screen presence, and content. So, revise all the areas that are expected to be covered in that virtual PI. How? By knowing which uh, post you are applying for. How is what is going to be the area of focus? This is it. Yes. Just look how you look and see what you have studied over. Don't worry about anything else. HR interviews, of course, are a different ball game altogether. I will discuss that in another live event on Sunday, maybe because I missed last Sunday's event. I'm doing it today. But on PIs, I'll take another session. I'll have a little bit go, go deeper into this. Virtual PIs, start preparing by preparing your profile about what good you have, experience, projects, etc. Not certification. Certification kya hai? That's a piece of document that is necessary for screening. But once you are in an interview, tumara certification kya kaam dega jab tumko agar ek kuch pooch diya usi certification mein se agar tumko pata nahi hai to. You know, so of course, in virtual PIs, a lot of things can be managed. You know, pata nahi hai to kya hua? There are a uh, well, 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 you can refer to documents. This is what I feel you can refer. Whether it is ethical or not, don't ask me. I'm just saying that you can refer to things. You can refer to things. You can refer to things. All right. So this is uh, almost everything about it. Do you have any special questions? Else we'll uh, round it up and try to finish it. Hmm? No questions, uh, neither on Facebook nor on YouTube. Most of your questions are asked in a virtual PI. Uh, Binayak is asking same stress PS. I'll deal with it later on. So thank you for coming down to this YouTube live session. I am then done for the day and I'll see you uh, next week, maybe on Sunday or another weekday where we will discuss uh, anything that you want. I am thinking of talking video resumes. I gave you a demo today on video resumes. If you miss that demo, you can, uh, when this video gets over, this YouTube live gets over, you can revisit that video and run it and see. Otherwise, I'll give I'll do a video resume exclusive session next week in which I'll break down the different parts of profile preparation, script preparation, camera setup, etc. And I'll try to make this thing easy for you. All right. So until next time, now your numbers are increasing, but it's of no use. I am done. I'll just hit the 50 minutes target and then close it. If you want to ask anything before the 50 minute target is hit, ask me. Else I'm just going to. Uh, yeah, thank you. Lots of love, man. Thank you for that. Thanks, Manish Bhai. How's Tata? <laughs> yeah, you said Tata to us. Yeah, guys can leave. Uh, we are done for the day. Enjoy your dinner. Have sweet dreams. Keep safe. As one of the important investors has said, the task for 2020 is to stay alive. Business can wait. Placement can wait. Everything we can wait. Survive 2020 with a good mental health. If you have done that, well, you will have opportunities galore in 2021. It's going to be a tough time. Gate ke baare mein kuch bachcha log pooch raha. Gate 2021 is going to be dense. Everyone who is not getting a job is moving that way. Chalo, dekh to lete hain. Gate mein kya hota hai. And they are going to prepare. And the whole <laughs> gate industry, or coaching industry gate ka, they are well, I mean, warming up their hands like, kya opportunity hai. And they are going to encash on it. I would suggest you to trust yourself, study instead. You can study all by yourself. Try to do that. Current GD topics are basically China and Corona. Prepare on them. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, all guys. Thank you. Good night. Uh, yes, what was I talking about? Gate. Gate ke baare mein na, 2021 mein bheed jo And if it is a percentile thing, it is a percentile thing. Percentile will go up because uh, uh, number of people performing well will go up. Of course, the cutoffs will be. 
uh, very higher this time. So if you are thinking of preparing for GATE, I'm not saying don't do that. All the best. Some of you are really good students. Some of you are good pointers. You can do that. And you know what for GATE? If you are thinking of giving, let's say, X amount of labor, X amount of hours per day, hike it up by 60%. Yes, extra effort, extra labor, extra focus. But beyond labor, effort and focus, strategies are important. Strategies and troubleshooting. Be ready for any kind of emergencies, medical emergency, economic emergency. Thank you, Ayush. Thanks a lot. So you be, must be ready for all kind of emergencies accordingly you will have to uh, um, prepare strategically don't put in too much of labor without strategy labor is required lots of labor plus lots of good strategies flashcards audios uh, let's say collaborative studies and uh, breakups are required for so that you succeed in gate i know this is controversial but yeah, my opinion all right so that's it 52 minutes already done i have a uh, all your questions. Thank you, Manish. Thanks for giving me your good wishes and telling me that you're doing good. All right. Uh, this is it. Shubratri. See you on the other side of the pandemic while being with you throughout the pandemic. I have composed a song for the pandemic as a kind of a pandemic placement anthem. Kisi din ga ke suna denge aapko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, uh, those who are leaving can leave. I'll just read out some messages from your seniors uh, in this sector, how they are going through this. And uh, here is one of it. One of them. Hmm. Achha. Okay. This is about it. Um, hmm. Last year, people who were hired have somehow escaped from uh, firing. I am just praying for 2021 pass outs. On campus ke bharose rehne par mana kar dijiye, sir. Uh, this is from the industry. The college is not uh, telling me to say this. Okay, this is from the industry. People from the industry are giving this feedback. Hmm. Uh, yes, sir. This uh, campus placement to sir bahut choti ladhai hai. Hame ab pata chal raha hai ki bahar kitna kuch jhelna padta hai. Job does not promise good future. These are the entrepreneurial mind people. And this person was one of those... Uh, Baha se those uh, jo gaadi sab nahi chalate, mechanical wale. Uske ek team ka banda hai. He has a job in a very reputed company. Job to mil jata hai. Fir n number of factors rehte hai. Like type of project, manager, domain. And most important, learning interest. Ye sab ke baad do teen saal nikalne par switch ke liye fight. Interviewer grill karke maad dete hai sir. Ab to switch is also tough for the next one year. To same paise mein aapko ek do saal nikalna padega. Moral of the story, college placement choti se lada hai, jisse, jiske jitne se kuch nahi hoga. So I don't agree with him, but like anyway. <laughs> yes, Somel, I understand. Online, online, everything is online. Everything is tentative. Corona ko kahi mile na bhai, corona. Achha se sanitizer de ke masal do. Isi niye sab jhamela create kiya. Yes, Shubham, I am in the mood of doing regular sessions. And uh, you need to tell me what you want to hear. Otherwise, I'm going to come in, come up with such kind of things and maybe it will bore you. But this is how I function. I take inputs from you and I turn it into sessions. So you can tell me in the chat box and tell me what kind of uh, material you want for the next session. I will prepare accordingly and come with a little bit of extra preparation in that. Hmm. You want me to talk about managing stress during placements? I can do that. But that will not be anything to do techniques and strategies of GDs and PIs and video resume. No, no, no. I'll talk about how to manage the pressure. I am shortly releasing a video on managing parents, how to manage parents during the placement, uh, during the pandemic and the placement. I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, second thing is that uh, I have a topic in my mind and that is to um, somehow improve the study techniques. As many of you are going for GET, I want to help you with the preparation of our study techniques. These are those techniques that I, you know, skipped during my study phase, but I know they're effective because I used to use them for a certain short period of time. <laughs> ah, video resume. Yeah, I'm going to do video resume Sunday and I'll, I'll, I'll show you everything, how to set up the camera, how to have a background, how to, I mean, manage uh, the movement, etc. And then I'll, I'll, I'll post the whole video on YouTube so that you get to know. But it, it will not work exactly because I am from a different sector. Maybe I'll think of myself as an engineer. 
परेशानी होती है खुद को इंजीनियर तस्वुर करने में बहुत परेशानी हो रही है आई कांट इमेजिन द things that you guys undergo number 1 society pressure that's why you joined btech number 2 family pressure to cover the investment by getting a placement number 3 relationship pressure the less said about it the better number 4 career pressure pad to liya lekin isi mein agar career banega to hum tabah ho jayenge number 5 higher studies pressure btech karke kahan itne acha se future banega kuch aur padhna padega number 6 डोमेन स्विच प्रेशर लाइक अच्छा ठीक है ये अच्छा तो है बीटेक अच्छा है लेकिन एमबीए कर लेंगे चलो जरा से ब्रांच आउट करके दूसरे किसी डोमेन में चलते हैं आ, 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 रिसर्च में चलते हैं सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ तो चलो ठीक है नो प्रॉब्लम फॉर्मल ऑनलाइन कॉल्स फॉर्मल ऑनलाइन कॉल्स इन द फ्यूचर so think from your side shomil what irritates you about online calls hmm? how do you react if something happens on the other side that has to be avoided okay one avoiding the problems and improving the prospects and what is that have an x factor to you what can you be a specialist about now it's not like you are the only specialist what can be your usp unique selling point maybe you are always in a good dress maybe you are always cheerful maybe you always have the right amount of analysis maybe you always take notes by listening closely so these four things that i said and i'm thankfully i'm recording it because i keep forgetting what i tell so these four things can be your usp for online calls formal business online calls so if you can work on this you will lay a good impression on the other part i already told you to minimize the problems what can be the problems in online calls well number 1 data getting over number 2 uh, audio disturbances number 3 bad lighting light coming from behind rather than coming from the uh, front number 4 there can be a uh, data connectivity issues this is the most common one are 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 baat baat pe can you hear me can you hear me itne isko minimize kaise kar you got tech guys tum log batao mere ko windows band kar do applications run karna khatam kar do have a dedicated job wala device jisme aur kuch nahi hoga jiska c drive hamesha khali rahega so that the processing happens is at a good pace okay and there are no background applications drawing uh, into your um, into your what is that uh, data connectivity torrent galti se bhi us device pe mat lagana piche mein khinch raha hoga torrent and to excuse me i can't hear you i can't see my future it is bleak it is dark because my boss is pissed off with me ye sab mat kariyo okay i mean leave the device that laptop or whatever you are going to use for your online formal calls your business um, online calls business contacts to be totally empty of all those uh, what do you call it uh, float no 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 kya bolte hain usko bloatware b l o a t w a r e jisse phool jata hai no uh, nothing of that sort maybe the company will give you that kind of a laptop with no frills you can take that or you can convert your own laptop into such kind of a thing to ghar baithe environment pe phek diye jayenge <laughs> yeah so how do you remain calm in a corporate environment from a home as i said on uh, you have to i mean dedicate a room for yourself usme wo room mein you will have no other distractions okay uh that question is too late i have ended the whole discussion umul that you are asking that question it's too late i can't answer i'm done with this topic i'm over yes avni it uh, will do stress management for upcoming okay i tend to lose my cool <laughs> yes yes we'll do that avneet we are doing that utkarsh we can make separate users in windows so that we don't have anything unnecessary yo good idea man that's why i trust you btech guys have a separate compartment in windows uh what is that you called separate users in windows if you have a separate user in windows all those background operations that you have been running they take place i mean independent of your data connection your data will not be tapped by those applications saying this i still have two gmail one google sheet open one zoom id open i'm sorry if you are facing internet issues from my side i <laughs> i messed it up here uh thank you shomil thank you funky engineer oh you want last minute tips <laughs> rewind this video to the point uh, where i'm talking about gts it's around the 25th 25th minute okay okay thanks utkarsh you are my uh, background support for this 
I trust you. Please join me for the next session. All right. This has been an enjoyable session. Nice to talk with you. It's 11 o'clock in India and I hope it is happy o'clock in Europe.